Hey everybody, it's Rachel with Rachel Q Stitches and welcome to my channel. Today is another unboxing video. I have another Fat Quarter Shop grab bag that I have, scrap bag that I have, and I also bought one of their grab bags. But before I get to that, I am going to show you something that I bought off of Etsy. Um, I watched a video and I talked this a little bit about Tuesday on my floss tube. If you watched that, you would have heard me say something. I've watched some videos on how to use panels in your quilting. And one of the designs I really, really liked and I want to work on it. And so I had looked at these when they first came out and didn't get them. And then of course they're no longer available, but they are the hymns right here. And I can't remember the name of them, but I bought the panel of the big ones. And then I bought a panel of the small ones. And I'm looking on the salvage. <clears throat> Here we go. It is called Songbook, a new page by Stephanie Slowinski by Moda Fabrics. Okay, so this is the small panels. So I'm gonna make this quilt that I saw using both the big and the small ones. And so, um, anyway, I love them. They're so pretty. Um, and they have the words from the hymns on them. So I really, really like them. So that is what I bought. And this will lead into why I bought the grab bag from Fat Quarter Shop. Now this is um, the mixed pair. <laughs> Hold on. Okay. Back to that. Sorry, there's somebody outside. This is the mixed panel grab bag. So I thought, let me get this. It was $10. I had wanted it and I had to put on there, notify me when it's back in stock. It came back in stock. I actually opened this up on my birthday because I wanted to see what was in it. Let's see right here. If you can see it. You can see it. The mixed panel grab bag. Um because I wanted to see what was in it. So my husband's like, just open it. <laughs> I'm like, I'm gonna open this, but I'm not gonna open open the scrap bag. So this first panel was kind of interesting. It is Cozy Christmas by Lori Holt. And I like it. I really like it. Um, this kind of, um, it's like you just get a bunch of fat quarters. Interesting. But, so it's got the little gingerbread men little whatevers, bells, and then lights. So this is fun. This is a lot of fun. Um, I don't know how much these panels normally go for, but I'm going to say probably around $10. One of the quilt shops that I was in when I was in Ruston had a ton of quilt panels and they ranged anywhere from $8 to, there were some that were like $16. So this is good. Now this next one I will not be using. So more than likely this will go in the giveaway basket. I don't normally do Halloween. I will do fall, but um, this is a Halloween panel. Now it is just an owl. I could maybe do something with it, but anyway. Um, this is owl o -ween by Moda. It did, oh, by Urban Chicks. So, again, like I said, for $10, um, not a bad deal. Not a bad deal. Now, this last one that I'm going to show you, um, if you are new to my channel, um, you will know that my birthday is May 30th. I mean, I'm if you won't know that my birthday is May 30th. Uh, five years ago on May 28th, my mom passed away. Um, finally, um, you know, I like to say that God released her from her battle with cancer. I don't like to say cancer won. God released her from that battle with cancer on May 28th, uh, two days before my birthday. So May's kind of a rough month for me. Um, especially the end of May. It's just, it's a mixture of emotions, you know, just really a, a really weird mixture of emotions. Anyway, she had breast cancer. And, um, when I opened up 
the bag on my birthday because this came in on my birthday when I opened up this pack um, and I saw this I was like okay okay God I hear you isn't this pretty so I will be doing something with these pillow panels probably the quilt design like I told you about I'm gonna see if Fat Quarter Shop has um, maybe a fat quarter bundle of this fabric or something that goes with it because I will be doing something with this. So I'm glad I opened this on my birthday because like I said, it, it's a, it's a hard, it's a hard time for me. Um, so anyway, on to the scrap bag. Now, um, my last video got a ton of views. Um, and I had some people say, those don't look like with the fabric, they, they look like they're maybe about 22 inches long. They don't look with the fabric. And that is because I kept them folded up. So I'm gonna show you as I open this new one that they are with the fabric. <laughs> I just didn't open them up. And so that's 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 me, that's on me. I should have opened them up to show you that they were indeed with the fabric. So thank you for pointing that out to me. Um, so let's dig into this bag. Oh, this is, oh, I got two of them, okay. So this is a, I like this. This is a neutral. It's a gray polka dot like this. And it is with the fabric. Selvage to selvage. And they're all like this. Um, and then this one. It's the opposite. And again, it's um, selvage to selvage. So it is with the fabric. So this one... Okay, so I'm gonna read. I'm gonna read the description. I thought the description on their website said with the fabric, but it does not. It says this scrap bag is filled with random non-coordinating cuts of fabric for varying of varying sizes from five to eighteen inches. Contents of bag is truly random. No returns or exchanges, and it's an eleven dollar and ninety eight cent purchase. So I don't think that's a bad price. I will be ordering more. <laughs> okay, this one is cute. This one. Um, Wyndham Fabrics presents Heather Ross, and that's all it says on the selvage, but it's got bunnies, pajamas, and, um, spools of thread. Is it right here? I'm going to fold it up. It is with the fabric. And us see right here. This is cute. I don't know what it is, but it's adorable. Adorable. Okay, so that's that one. Okay, and then there is, this is pretty, I like this color. This one is Union Square by Minnick and Simpson. Pretty, pretty. Love that color. Look at that. So pretty. And then this next one is a white on white. Um, there's no selvage. So I'm going to fold it so you can get a better look at it. It's it's truly just a white on white. Um, yeah, you can kind of see the... It just looks, I don't know, like a light, light gray almost. But anyway. All right. And the next one is... This is a big one. Christmas Eve by... It says Christmas Eve, and then it says always be merry and bright. And it is with a fabric, two selvages. Look at that. That's pretty. That is Christmassy. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? That kind of goes with that, with the other two. Hmm. They kind of match. Interesting. Oh, this one matches. This is the same thing, but in green. If you throw this one that wasn't made with it but boy they go good together nice okay okay the red version here it is okay so this one says Leela Leela's boutique okay 
Oh, may your days be merry and bright. Okay, this is a big piece. And this is the red version. I see a quilt in my future. Look at this. I'm gonna keep these together. These are nice. Nice, nice. I think they might've been cutting something for somebody. <laughs> this is, um, Life is Sweeter with a Touch of Sugar. This is Sugarberry by Bunny Hills Designs, also a Moda fabric. All right, that's a big piece too. Yeah, I really think that, um, I think this whole bag except for that green, <laughs> really, really, really goes good together. I think I'm gonna keep all this together. I am not gonna, except for the green. This is going <laughs> into its own little thing and that is it in my little bag. I love my little bag. I'm keeping all these Christmas ones together. Um, the lady who got me hooked on these bags is, um, crystal heart um she does a so sampler roulette and i might challenge myself to do a scrap bag challenge and see if i can come up with something with all of these aren't they pretty together so yeah i'm wondering if um whoever put this bag together for me at fat quarter shop thank you <laughs> i love them look at them oh yeah i'm making a quilt with these so anyway all right so next week i probably will not have another scrap bag from Fat Quarter Shop, but I do have a Cotton Cuts scrap bag that I will be showing you guys. Um, I've already kind of gone through it, but I want to show you exactly what's in it in case you're interested. If you like scraps, um, I'm going to show you what's in there. And I'm going to probably do that next week so that you guys can see. Um, but uh, anyway, so that is it for now. Thank you all so much for watching. I encourage you if you are building a stash if you um my stash is mostly fabrics from the 90s on up until my mom stopped quilting probably in the early early 2000s they're older fabrics i don't have a lot of the newer fabrics so these things really excite me because like even when i was walking in the quilt shop i was like i don't need to buy fabric i don't need to buy fabric there's so much it was overwhelming and this kind of just says hey rachel this is what you're stitching with. And that's why I like my still sampler boxes because it's kind of the same thing. So it gives me the newer fabrics I can work with, the newer, prettier things that I can still make the scrappy quilts with the things that I inherited from my mom. So, um, and things that were in my stash too that I kind of have. But um, anyway, so that is all I have. Thank you everyone for joining me this week for my scrap bag unboxing. I am probably going to end up getting one of these a month. Um, this is my May one. I think I got two in May. Yeah. Um, so anyway, I do have an affiliate link down below. It basically, Fat Quarter Shop pays me a small amount um, based on your purchase. If you want to purchase $50 or more, use the link. That'll give you $10 off and it'll also give me $10 off. Or if not, use the other one that just basically costs you nothing. Um, but like I said, Fat Quarter Shop just gives me a small percentage back for you following my links. Thank you so much. I appreciate each one of you and I will see you guys hopefully next week. Lord willing. Bye-bye.